from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of OutSystems Next Step 2020, brought to you by OutSystems. Welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman. This is the Cube at OutSystems Next Step. Of course, when we gather at the uh, events, one of the big things to talk about is, is the community, and OutSystems Show is, is is no exception. Uh, lots of developers, uh, lots of community engagement uh, as they're, they're building and, and sharing what they have. So to dig into that topic, happy to welcome to the program Jen Lopez. She is the Senior Director of Community and Advocacy with OutSystems. Jen, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Well, Jen, you know, there, 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 there's so much discussion in the industry right now is like, okay, what does the, the current moment in time with the global pandemic mean for events? What does it mean for communities? Uh, the, the, the term I've heard used so much is, uh, you know, how, how do we bring ourselves together even while we're apart? Um, but if you could, you know, you know give us, uh, you know, what does the community uh, at, at OutSystems look like? Uh, you know, you've had this event before. Uh, if this was 2019, you know, what, what, what did uh, the community activity and the community engagement look like? Yeah, we are definitely in a different world right now, right? Um, so in 2019, um, gathering the community together, you know, whether it was at, at Next Step or, or at other in-person events that we often had, um, you know, it, that, that is such a huge part of building community is getting people together and being able to have those conversations. And um, sometimes it's just, um, whether it's meeting at, you know, you're getting some coffee and you meet someone, all of those in-person things um, are, are hard to do online. Um, but we're really working hard this year at, uh, you know, finding those ways to connect in a bunch of different ways with the community. Um, we have our regular uh, technical talks and that sort of thing that we're doing. Um, but we also have uh, chats where you can come and, and chat with other community members. We're going to have a 24 or, we're, you know, we have this 24 hour Zoom going on. Um, so you can, you know, we're find, trying to find as many ways as possible to sort of um, at least get those conversations and have the ability for the community to connect with each other. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if you can, uh, you know, people look at communities and especially in the developer community, there's so many different pieces of that. Uh, when, I, when I talked to uh, Gonzalo, he was talking about, you know, how do we enable the next you know, 10 million developers. Um, when I talk to developer communities, it looks like the, the app dev uh, is obviously a big piece of, uh, of what you're addressing, but you know, characterize if you could, and if you have any stats, would love to understand, you know, the community, the growth of community, you know, where the engagement activity is. Yeah, th thanks. So um, the community growth uh, in the OutSystems community has been phenomenal. Um, last year we saw, or just for this year, we saw 90% growth um, since last year. Uh, we have uh, 22,000 developers um, on a monthly basis who are actively doing things in the community. Um, that's anywhere from, you know, between building apps and asking questions in the forum and um, using, uh, downloading Forge components, which are reusable apps, uh, attending user groups, there's all these things, right? We have this activity level uh, that we've seen that has just been through the roof. And um, COVID for the community has actually been, uh, you know, we've seen uh, huge growth, specifically March and April. We saw a great increase in new members coming on. And then what happened is our uh, other members jumped in answering way more questions than we've ever had in the forums, um, offering to help in different ways. So the, between the, the increase in growth, the growth and increase in activity, uh, the community itself has jumped in to really help out other people. Yeah, well, if you look at the developer community uh, and the tools they use and how they engage, they're really, the work from home uh, you know, movement probably hit them a little bit less uh, that, than the average uh, knowledge worker, uh, because they're, they're used to being online, uh, they're used to engaging in these environments often, it is a distributed uh, community, so it, it sounds like it makes sense. What, what, what else, from a COVID standpoint, uh, you know, I've talked to some of OutSystems customers and the agility uh, baked into the platform is something that they are taking advantage of. Uh, do you have any interesting stories around, you know, how the community's rallying 
uh, you know, specifically with COVID going on? Yeah, so actually that, that, that was a huge thing for us. Um, we had uh, both internal and external, we were getting a lot of folks coming to us and saying, you know, everybody wanted to help, right? Uh, especially in the beginning of, of the, when it kind of hit globally, everybody wanted to help. So what we did is we launched a program uh, that we called the Community the COVID-19 Community Response Program. Um, and we weren't quite sure exactly how people might react, um, but what ended up happening is we had um, thousands of people uh, give ideas. And with those ideas, we had teams of people who were working on building these apps and actually launching the apps to help different communities all around the world with various issues, whether it was, you know, um, uh, an, an Uber-like app that was created uh, to help people in a certain community, you know, find somebody who could go to the store for them. Um, there were, you know, these different apps were being created by the community. The ideas were coming from the community and people just really rallied around it because everybody wanted to help and they wanted to, to participate and be a part of something. And they were able to get these apps out in, you know, record time. Um, I would see other folks, everyone was, was trying to rely on technology at the time. And I would see other folks saying, oh, you know, we had a team of five people spent two, two weeks building out, you know, our first MVP of this app. And um, at Out Systems, we were seeing people in, you know, two people in one week having like a fully blown, fleshed out app being created. Um, so we were able to not just help with the technology standpoint, but help really quickly when it was needed right away. Yeah, well, one of the themes I've been hearing a lot at the show is, you know, how do we close that, that talent and skill gap? Um, I, I have to imagine with your community engagements, the advocacy, uh, you've got some visibility into, you know, what, what, what things does OutSystem engage with when it comes to, you know, educating the next generation, helping people take advantage of some of the new technologies, uh, you know, adoption of the new AI features. It, it gives a little viewpoint as to the, those changing dynamics in the community and specifically for developers. Yeah, I think it's it's really interesting. So um, we have a number of programs with our between our education program and um, low code schools and various programs where we're getting not just new developers uh, coming in and learning out systems right away, but but actually getting developers who are coming from other uh, programming languages who are ready to learn something new, who are like, hey, I'm hearing a lot about you know, uh, these these different ways uh, to be innovative and I can, you know, build an app quickly and it's still um, secure and stable and robust and all of this. And so we have a lot of people, um, you know, coming in in different ways. We're um, also really excited about a new partnership that um, we've just launched with Women Who Code. Uh, we're you know, we're working really hard at going beyond just sort of those regular ways of people coming in. We want to help bring people from, you know, normally uh, who, who may be underrepresented in tech uh, at the moment because we want to help bring that new generation in and that generation's coming from all walks of life and, um, you know, coming up with uh, working on lots of different ways to um, educate and, and bring them in and well, keep Jen, them in tech. Yeah, no, no Jen, su such an important topic. I'm so glad that you brought it up. Uh, you know, diversity, um, you know, what, one of the things when, when I think about we're lowering the bar uh, and, you know, what necessary skills you have to get started uh, to be a coder. So often it's, I, I have to have this degree, I need to understand these languages. So, you know, do, do you feel this general movement is making it more accessible? Are we, you know, you know, what are we doing? What can we do more to be able to reach out, find some new pools of talent that can help us close this gap? And, you know, then, as you said, keep them in tech. Yeah, and I think that'll be key is the keeping them in tech. But um, there are, right now, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange thing to say this is an opportunity, right? But with lots of people, um, and specifically here in the U.S. where I am, obviously, we have a lot of folks who have lost jobs, right? People are looking for ways to get into something new. What's great about being able to learn 
uh, out systems is that that you're going to have a, a different kind of job, right? You're going to have one of those jobs with an enterprise organization um, or 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 you know one of our partnerships, and it it it's going to level up your career in a totally different way. And there are um, uh, lots of organizations right now who are also looking to find those those ways online. They're like, we have all these members in our community who we're trying to get trained and into tech in, in different ways. Um, and they are reaching out to us as well and saying, hey, we're we're hearing a lot about, you know, all of these innovative things that OutSystems is doing. How do we work together? And so it's been really exciting to see that it's not just um, us going out and reaching out, it's people saying, oh, I see these really cool things that you're doing. And, you know, we, we want to help get our members um, learning and, and into this as well. All right, Let, let's look a little forward if we could, Jen. Uh, you know, tell us, you know, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you see in the future? You know, what feedback are you getting from community? Uh, what, what things should we be looking at uh, going forward? Going forward, I think that um, development is really going to be focused on, on, on being able to be creative and innovative and finding new ways to do things. Um, we don't have to do things the same old way anymore, right? We can uh, build a robust application uh, it quickly. Um, and and like we saw with COVID, um, you know, we had big issues, and people were able to uh, figure out a way to to use technology to actually um, help fix these issues or solve a problem really quickly. And I see that very much that people it, it lights something in people's minds of, oh. Uh, being a developer doesn't have to just mean sitting and coding all day. It means, you know, doing really but robust things that I can do to help people and um, use technology in a totally different, innovative way. Wonderful. Uh, Jen, want, want to give you the final word uh, when we talk about out systems, bringing the community together. What do you want people to understand and, and connect with uh, on this community? The, the community itself is um, very generous and, and giving. And one thing that um, I have really, really loved uh, about being a part of OutSystems is the community itself, because they are working really hard to help bring new developers in, help train them, give them mentorship. Um, so there's a, there's a big feeling of you know, it's not just uh, every person out for themselves. They they really want to help lift each other up. I think it's really important for you know feeding that uh, technology, that new generation, and and that innovation that that is coming from it. All right. Well, Jen Lopez, thank you so so much for helping us dig inside the community. Definitely looking at the engagement opportunities this week, and uh, you know, th thank you for all of the information that you shared. Thanks, Stu. Appreciate it. All right, stay tuned for more coverage. I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you for watching theCUBE.